each other on the left hand side. Make some noise for delay. And on the right hand side, after a very impressive debut, make some noise for Jar. Round one on delay. Whenever we're ready, let's get it. You filthy fucking cockhead, what when I hope you fucking drop dead. <laughs> or spend the rest of your life in fucking doubt, you're feeling sad? Here's something to chuckle about, me doing laundry at your mama's house. Yeah, smashing your nan, her box is so well dug and out, cops mistook it for one of our choppos escape tunnel routes. Yeah, gave a meat on top and bottom like KFC double down. <laughs> but, to, but to tell you the truth, she was beside herself, because I wouldn't fuck her without a hiker's belt and a deep sea diving route. Her vagina smelled like dead guys and trout. <laughs> Last time I went down there I saw skeletons with camping flares and an SOS sign for help. Catch you by yourself being a dodgy pr sorry, sorry. Catch you by yourself being a dodgy cunt, probably boxing mum for not getting the grocery shopping done. And you look like you're stocking up by eating and drinking the coffee jug. And your voice sounds like you swallowed a hockey puck. <laughs> time. <laughs> time. <laughs> Let's go. David Allen. Get a last name, you fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> Any cunt with two first names should never be trusted. You see, a surname comes from your family's job or production, so it's safe to say David here is from a long line of nothing. <laughs> so I'm about to wreck this kid. So fucking bad it hurts. So bad you'd think I'd have ties to the Catholic Church. I'm having him screaming, please mate, not the kid. You look that fucking young, I bet decoy watches this and plot oh. these dicks. <laughs> They like mum jokes. Well, your mum's cunt's known as the practice pitch. Looks like it's maintained by savages. She has so many guys coming for practice hits, it's like they're just there to raise their averages. <laughs> oh. She's, oh, she'll shove anything up there, dude. Like, she's a true savage. She'll take bed knobs, broomsticks, the head of two mallets. I've seen her take a banana or a mango and then squat on a pineapple and call it fruit salad. <laughs> Fuck DP on a tampon, put tiger balm inside my palm, and then open hand fist your mom while she rides upon my entire arm. She calls me Santa Claus and insists that it's fact. Whispers me a Christmas wish list while she sits on my lap. She wants to get her hair pulled, then to get fisted and slapped, but she was that fucking loose, I could double fist her and clap. <laughs> Time. Time. You tell your mates it's not sex, that I'm raping your mum, but to tell you the truth, I could put a razor blade on my tongue and use it to start shaving a cunt. Yeah. The day your dad got the divorce papers, he thought, thank the fucking Lord Saviour. He was filled with ecstasy, knowing he wouldn't have to share a bed with me. Yeah, raw raper, your girl treats my dick like a jawbreaker. And she left you because you're dodgy so-called labour, because you look like you sell drugs to fourth graders. <laughs> um, nah, you look like you do single pegs in your dad's commie, then act cocky. I'm here to slang body... I'm here to catch bodies, you look like you're here to slang molly at stockies. You look so Australian. That's a compliment just to let you know. But you also look like you shoot heroin with a pressure hose. <laughs> your your mum's cunts regarded as the nether zone, the place where his boss are told Simba to never go. No, it's a treasure trove full of diamonds and sequins. They say it's epic, bro. Can't be if it made this spastic fuckwit. They say Johnny Zeb's still on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean and couldn't find those gems with his magic compass. Time, let's go, dude. There you go. Well, I found out where she stayed. Now she know how my D tastes. Said it's so sweet her teeth ache and spent so much time on them now her knees ache. Now she's fucking weeks late, but ain't seen or heard from me in weeks, mate. So I'm putting blood on dude when I say I put a period on D late. Uh, I'm here to rip apart a body. I'll have him torn limb from limb. And thrown into the deep end, fight or flight, can't sink or swim. Clip your wing, leave him flightless, and leave him lifeless as my right clip your chin. I'll oh, Bruce Jenner, this faggot, a couple slices will expose the bitch within. I'll turn your girl into a terrorist. She'll leave home to go join ISIS. Now I'll make her a fiend, you'll be in terror, it's like she'll go wherever ice is. So I've been feeding her pipes, bitch, and I ain't talking about my dick when I say I'll leave her gagging for it, and then all the tools to end her life with. If this cunt's throwing punches, I'm gonna fucking give them back to him. 
I'll duck and hit him back, then up a cut and spin him backwards then. I'll jump this little pump because the cunts are living spastic and I'll spare the kid, but won't let his parents live. I'm a Thunder River Rapids in. Three more times. Time. Every time you ask your missus for sex, because you want to get your rocks off, you say, pretty, pretty, please, with a cherry on top. You look like you, every time you lick your nan's box, it reminds you of the time you sniff your dad's cock. <laughs> and every time you sit to jack off, you're like this, it looks like you're trying to pick a padlock. I bet you, when your kids get home from school, you rip their pants off, un un flick a tampon and say, fuck, alright, let me get this back on, I'm gonna rip the, uh, I can stick your fat cock in the slot and she's like, Dad, stop, it tickles, Dad, stop. <laughs> yeah, and you talk about my girl. Fuck, I wish I had one. <laughs> no, that's, that's not even a bar, I just really wish I had one. I feel lonely all the time, and I shouldn't be talking about it, but I'm, I am now, and I've been freestyling this whole round. <laughs> Shit, I don't really know what to say. I'm done, I've lost. G'day. <laughs> yeah. Get that final round on job. Uh, well, David is a friendly bloke. I didn't come to be friendly, though. Plan on murdering this actor to leave Casper here a friendly ghost. You see what I did to that envy bloke? That was nothing lines and empty jokes. But fear me now, because here and now, you ain't even getting those. Shit, you ain't even getting close. I could kill you using envy quotes. Or every joke I ever wrote on Evernote and I've never put that app on any phone I've ever owned. I am so much better than you in every way ever known. Could I clash with a black tie while you're clearly wearing better clothes? Could I bore you on the court if you stole every move from Derek Rose? Could I shine you if you had the light of every star that ever glows? I ain't forgetting though, everything you said to Doe. Yeah, you beat him, but he had enough material for one round if he said it slow. He lost all confidence, he stammered, stumbled, and then he froze. Just seemed like an empty victory because your opponent was so pathetic, bro. So let it go. You ain't getting props for getting dope. You're getting stopped and getting dropped because you get a loss and I'm getting gold. I'll leave G shocked as they watch while you're getting clocked till your head explodes. They never stop me or catch a body. The fact is I'd be about to let him know. I'm better, witty. A jester, witty. Fresher, spitting, clever, written, heavy, hitting, best at getting blessed with everything but never giving less if this a test and I am never guessing. Bet I'm winning. Just beginning. Kill you just for sitting with him. Spitting with him with a shit decision. This kid is kidding, but that's just how it goes. He isn't living, this kid is finished. I told you, Casper now a ghost. Time. Time. Time.